Do you really believe you understand the secret messages behind every gesture, look, or piece of clothing? Here's a surprising truth. What you thought you knew about body language and fashion is about to be turned on its head. Discover, in seconds, how simple nods or the choice of your wardrobe can unveil deep secrets about your personality and intentions, far beyond what words can convey. Ready to unravel mysteries that go beyond your imagination and completely transform the way you communicate and present yourself to the world? Then don't look away, because this video promises not only to satisfy your curiosity, but also to challenge entrenched beliefs and reveal the hidden power behind every human interaction. Stay with us and unlock these secrets. The power of the first impression. The art of making a memorable impression right at the first encounter is an invaluable skill, shaping not just the start of a conversation, but possibly the course of an entire relationship. Picture yourself stepping into a room full of strangers, where every gesture of yours will paint the picture of your image on the canvas of others' perception. In this setting, a simple handshake emerges not only as a greeting, but as a powerful envoy of your personality. The firmness, or lack thereof, with which you grasp the other's hand can speak volumes. A secure yet non-dominating grip conveys confidence and openness, signaling that you are present and engaged. On the other hand, a hesitant or overly fragile touch can unintentionally emit signals of timidity or uncertainty. But oh, non-verbal communication doesn't stop there. The eyes, those windows to the soul, play a crucial role. Maintaining a steady yet warm eye contact during the exchange is no less important. It says, I see you, I respect you, and I'm interested in what you have to say. In this fleeting yet significant moment, a subtle dance of signals is taking place. The way you present yourself, the balance between firmness and gentleness in the handshake, the synchrony between gaze and speech all contribute to the picture that forms in the other's mind. And that picture, once painted, tends to stick, influencing how we'll be remembered and, more crucially, how our future interactions will be shaped. Reflecting on the breadth of this topic, one realizes that the first impression is much more than a mere greeting. It's an opportunity to establish common ground, to initiate a dialogue not just with words, but with the universal language of mutual respect and empathy. And as we progress in the conversation, stay curious about how these initial moments can be the foundation upon which lasting relationships are built. Contemplating the power that resides in such a simple yet profoundly meaningful Decoding crossed arms, the eyes, those mysterious orbs embedded in our faces are often celebrated as windows to the soul. Through them, a cascade of emotions and secret thoughts can be conveyed with an intensity that words sometimes fail to capture. In a glance, one finds the silent echoes of joys, sorrows, fears and desires, all dancing in the dim light that escapes from these windows to the world. As we delve into the art of communication, we realize that the eyes speak a language of their own, fluent in nuances that transcend the verbal. A direct and steady gaze can be a sign of confidence, an open invitation to connection, while averting one's eyes can whisper stories of discomfort or insecurity. In this context, the absence of eye contact takes on multiple facets, interpreted as a sign of disinterest or, alternatively, as a manifestation of shyness. However, it is crucial not to interpret this visual silence in a simplistic manner. Aversion to direct eye contact is not universally a sign of lack of interest. In many cases, it can be a defense against the vulnerability that direct gaze evokes. For some people, maintaining steady eye contact is like lowering their guard exposing their innermost selves to a world that is not always kind. 
On the other hand, there are cultures where prolonged eye contact is considered disrespectful or confrontational. A reminder that the language of the eyes is also deeply influenced by cultural and individual context. This understanding invites us to approach each interaction with an open mind and an empathetic heart, recognizing that every glance away carries within it a universe of unspoken meanings. As we attempt to unravel the mysteries contained in the gaze of others, we are called to listen with more than just our ears. We are invited to feel with our souls, to perceive with our hearts, and in this process of attentive listening, we discover that true dialogues occur in the shared silence of two gazes meeting, communicating far beyond words. Therefore, as we navigate the deep waters of human communication, let us remember that the eyes are beacons that illuminate the hidden depths of being. They offer us a direct view into the heart of the other, into their fears and hopes, their joys and sorrows. Learning to read these visual signals is a journey toward deeper understanding and genuine connection. A voyage that teaches us the true essence of empathy and mutual understanding. Deciphering the fidgeting code, the behavior of constantly moving around, popularly known as fidgeting, is a true code to be deciphered in the vast language of body language. This restless dance of hands that find no rest, feet gently swaying, and fingers tapping silent rhythms on surfaces, speaks eloquently about the turbulent emotional world hidden beneath the apparent calm of our surface. Often this ballet of small movements serves as a beacon, indicating the presence of emotions such as nervousness or social discomfort. In moments of anxiety, our body seeks a release valve, a means of releasing accumulated tension. Fidgeting is that valve, an almost unconscious way to dissipate nervous energy, to bring a little relief to the discomfort that plagues us internally. However, it is fascinating to observe how these physical manifestations of what we feel inside can vary from one person to another and from one situation to another. In some circumstances, fidgeting can be a symptom of impatience or boredom, a sign that the mind wanders far in search of more engaging stimuli. In others, it can be a strategy to maintain focus a method to channel dispersed energy so that we can better concentrate on the tasks at hand. This understanding leads us to a deeper appreciation of the complexity of human interactions. When we observe someone constantly moving around, we are invited to look beyond the obvious, to question what these gestures reveal about the emotional and psychological state of the person. It is a reminder that each of us deals with stress and anxiety in our own way, and that these small acts of fidgeting are windows to better understand others and offer support when needed. Moreover, recognizing the presence and implications of fidgeting in our own lives can be a powerful step towards self-awareness and emotional self-management. By becoming aware of these habits, we can begin to explore new ways to deal with our emotions, seeking healthier and more productive strategies to cope with nervousness and social discomfort. Thus, by deciphering the fidgeting code, we open the doors to more empathetic and authentic communication, both with others and with ourselves. By recognizing these signals, we can not only better understand the underlying emotional needs, but also act in a way that strengthens our human connections, turning nervousness and discomfort into opportunities for growth and closeness. The dynamics of personal space. The issue of personal space is a fascinating aspect of human interaction, acting as a subtle thermometer of our social relationships, this invisible territory that surrounds us, this personal bubble, is more than mere physical space. It is an extension of ourselves, a sacred domain whose boundaries are defined by both social conventions and individual psychological needs. 
When someone approaches, diminishing the distance between us, this act can be interpreted in multiple ways. On one hand, reducing the space can be a sign of comfort and interest, a physical manifestation of the willingness to deepen bonds. A step forward can be a silent invitation to a deeper connection, a gesture that says, I am here, I am with you, and I wish to share this moment with you. It's the body speaking the language of proximity, echoing feelings of affection and trust. On the other hand, the same approach can be perceived as an invasion, a transgression of the invisible boundaries that protect our personal space. When someone invades this bubble without permission, the body reacts almost instinctively. A silent alarm sounds, signaling discomfort. This feeling of invasion is not merely physical. It is an intrusion into our sense of security and autonomy, a violation of the mutual respect that serves as the foundation for healthy interactions. This dynamic of personal space reveals the delicate dance of non-verbal communication, where every movement, every gesture carries significant weight. Adjusting our physical proximity requires a sharp sensitivity to others' reactions, an ability to read unspoken signals that tell us when to advance or retreat. It is a reminder of the importance of respecting others' boundaries, of recognizing that comfort with proximity is as individual as we are. Therefore, as we navigate the complexities of personal space, we are called to practice empathy and mindfulness. Observing and respecting others' space preferences not only avoids misunderstandings and discomfort, but also builds a foundation of respect and consideration that is fundamental to any healthy relationship. Understanding and honoring others' personal space is ultimately a profound form of communication. A silent dialogue that says, I see you, I respect you, and I value our relationship. By mastering this subtle language, we pave the way for richer and more meaningful interactions, where everyone feels seen, understood, and valued. If you're learning something about body language, subscribe, like, and comment the little gestures to explore more secrets. Join us now. Let's continue. The walk and the conversation. The walk, this everyday choreography that many of us perform without thinking, is actually a rich and multifaceted expression of our personality and emotional state. Every step, every movement, every rhythm with which we move through the world carries fragments of our essence, subtle clues that, if well interpreted, can reveal the deepest layers of our being. Observing the way someone walks is like leafing through the pages of an open book about their psyche. An upright posture and firm steps can be the external reflection of confidence and self-assurance, a physical manifestation of the inner strength that drives the person. This resolute walk speaks of someone who knows their worth, who faces the world head-on, ready to confront its challenges with determination. On the other hand, a hesitant walk with shoulders slouched and uncertain steps may signal shyness or insecurity. These cautious steps, as if weighing the right to occupy space at every moment, are silent echoes of wavering self-esteem, of an internal struggle for acceptance and a place in the world. It's the body trying to shrink, seeking invisibility amidst the crowd, a reflection of emotional vulnerability. However, it is essential to approach this reading with compassion and understanding, recognizing that a person's walk can vary according to numerous circumstances, including their momentary emotional state, physical health, and even cultural context. More than judging, observing the walk should be an exercise in empathy, an effort to better understand others from their own pace and movement. Moreover, this perception can be a valuable tool for self-awareness. By becoming aware of our own way of walking, we can learn a lot about how we present ourselves to the world and how we feel about ourselves. 
Small changes in posture and stride can not only alter the perception others have of us, but also influence our self-image and self-esteem. Therefore, the walk, far from being a mere physical locomotion, is a language rich in meanings, a mirror of our inner life. By paying attention to this expression of ourselves and others, we open a channel of deep communication, capable of transcending words and touching the essence of the human being. In every step, there is a story being told, an invitation to better understand ourselves and the world around us, a reminder that each person's journey is unique and worthy of being understood with kindness and respect. The language of posture. The language of posture is one of the most eloquent forms of human expression, a silent dialogue that speaks volumes about our inner state without a single word being uttered. Like a mirror reflecting our emotions, our self-esteem, and our disposition towards life, posture can be a powerful indicator of how we feel inside and how we wish to be perceived by the external world. An upright posture with shoulders aligned and spine straight is often the physical manifestation of confidence. This posture is not just a matter of ergonomics or physical health. It conveys a clear message of self-assurance and openness to the world. Like a lighthouse projecting light, a confident posture radiates strength and determination, communicating to everyone around that we are ready and capable of facing whatever life throws our way. In contrast, a slouched posture with drooping shoulders and often downward gaze may suggest shyness, nervousness, or an internal struggle with self-esteem. This forward inclination is like an attempt to diminish one's own presence, to hide in plain sight. Far from being merely a matter of habit or comfort, a withdrawn posture can be a reflection of internal insecurities, a silent signal that the person may be feeling vulnerable or self-conscious. However, it is essential to approach this interpretation with nuance and empathy, recognizing that posture is influenced by a complexity of factors ranging from physical conditions to life experiences and social contexts. A person's posture may change depending on the environment they are in, the people they interact with, and even their emotional state at the moment. Recognizing the language of posture paves the way for a deeper understanding, not only of others, but also of ourselves. Becoming aware of our own posture can be an act of self-exploration, a means of discovering how we truly feel and how we can project our best selves to the world. Small adjustments in how we carry ourselves can have significant impacts on our self-image and how we are perceived, promoting a sense of well-being and confidence. Thus, posture reveals itself not only as an aspect of body language, but as a key to unlocking more authentic and profound communication with the world. It teaches us that the way we carry ourselves can shape our life experience influencing not only how we see ourselves, but also how we relate to others. By cultivating a posture that reflects confidence and openness, we are not only enhancing our physical presence, we are also affirming our place in the world, with heads held high and hearts open to the infinite possibilities that life offers. Unlocking emotions through facial expressions. Unraveling the labyrinth of human emotions can be a complex task, but facial expressions emerge as master keys in this quest for understanding. Like an open book to those who know how to read its pages, the human face is capable of communicating the widest range of feelings and mental states, from radiant joy to the deepest despair, all without uttering a single word. Facial expressions are indeed one of the most immediate and honest means of communication at our disposal. A genuine smile, which lights up the face and reaches the eyes, can be a powerful indicator of happiness or satisfaction. On the other hand, a furrowed brow or tightly pressed lips may signal worry, discontentment or even anger. 
and then there are the subtle raising of eyebrows, the biting of lips, the glances that shift. Nuances that, when observed attentively, can reveal the most delicate nuances of what someone is truly feeling. However, the art of interpreting these expressions is not as simple as it may seem. Each face is a unique universe, with its own peculiarities and idiosyncrasies. What may be a gesture of discomfort for one person may be just a casual expression for another. Therefore, the key to accurate reading lies in the ability to perceive the congruence between what is said and what is expressed non-verbally, as well as understanding the context and individuality of each person. In addition to being a valuable tool for deciphering the feelings of others, the study of facial expressions offers us a window into self-awareness. By becoming more attentive to our own expressions, we can begin to better understand our emotions and how they manifest to the outside world. This self-awareness not only enriches our emotional experience, but also helps us communicate our feelings more clearly and effectively. Thus, facial expressions play a fundamental role in the tapestry of human communication, offering precious insights into the emotional world of those around us. By honing our ability to read and interpret these visual signals, we not only enhance our empathy and connection with others, but also pave the way for richer and more meaningful interactions. Facial expressions, with their ability to unlock emotions and reveal mental states, are a reminder of the depth and complexity of the human experience, an invitation to look beyond the obvious and connect with what truly moves us. If you're enjoying it, don't miss out on the opportunity. Get the ebook now, Stoicism in the 21st Century Ancient Strategies for Modern Challenges, and unlock your prosperity, abundance, and improve your relationships with this ebook. Link in the pinned comment. The importance of punctuality. Punctuality, that virtue often underestimated, is actually a powerful indicator of values, priorities, and to some extent, the respect one holds for oneself and others. Fulfilling the commitment to arrive on time is not just a matter of good etiquette. It is a concrete manifestation of the value we place on time, our own and that of others, and a mirror reflecting our organization, responsibility, and commitment. When someone insists on being punctual, this behavior reveals much more than simply the ability to follow a schedule. It demonstrates a deep consideration for the people with whom they have committed. Recognizing that everyone's time is a precious and limited resource. Punctuality is a sign of respect, a non-verbal communication that says, I value your presence and the effort you made to be here. It is also a reflection of planning ability and the skill to anticipate and manage obstacles, essential characteristics in many aspects of life. On the other hand, frequent and repeated lateness can send a very different message. They can be interpreted as a sign of disorganization or in more extreme cases of disinterest or disrespect. Of course, delays can happen to anyone for reasons often beyond our control. However, when they become a pattern, they can begin to erode the trust and perception that others have of our reliability and consideration. It is important to note that the interpretation of punctuality can vary significantly among different cultures and contexts. In some societies, arriving strictly on the appointed time is expected and valued, while in others, a more flexible approach to time is the norm. Thus, understanding and adapting to these cultural nuances is fundamental for effective communication and interaction. Recognizing the importance of punctuality is also an exercise in self-awareness and personal growth. By striving to be punctual, we are not only showing respect for others, but also developing discipline and enhancing our ability to manage life efficiently. 
It is a practice that benefits not only those with whom we interact, but also helps us build an image of ourselves as responsible and reliable individuals. In summary, punctuality is much more than arriving at a place on time. It is a business card that we leave with people, an indication of our respect for them and for ourselves. Cultivating punctuality is therefore a way to strengthen relationships, build trust, and demonstrate our integrity and commitment in all spheres of life. Emotions in every word. Words at their core are more than mere communication vehicles. They are the music of human interaction, and tone of voice, rhythm, and intonation are the instruments that bring this music to life. These elements, often underestimated in communication, carry within them a wealth of information about the speaker's emotional state, revealing layers of feelings and intentions that go beyond the literal content of the words. Tone of voice is perhaps the most expressive of these instruments. It can whisper tender secrets or scream storms of anger, even when the words seem neutral. A soft and melodious voice can indicate calmness or affection, while a sharp and quick voice may be a sign of anxiety or excitement. Tone can add depth of meaning to words, turning a simple phrase into a rich expression of emotion. Similarly, the rhythm with which we speak, the cadence of our words, speaks volumes about our internal state. A fast-paced speech can reveal enthusiasm or nervousness, while a slow speech may reflect contemplation or sadness. Rhythm can be a subtle indicator of how we feel about what we are saying, offering clues about the sincerity, passion or hesitation behind our words. Intonation, with its variations in pitch and modulation throughout a sentence, is also a powerful revealer of emotions. It can emphasize the importance of certain words, denote questions or exclamations, and express irony or sarcasm, all while adding layers of meaning that go beyond the spoken text. Intonation adds color to language allowing us to express a range of feelings and attitudes that words alone may not be able to convey. Together, tone of voice, rhythm and intonation are crucial components of our ability to communicate emotions and intentions. They enrich our language, allowing us to convey not only information, but also the essence of our emotional experiences. This sonic dimension of communication is as important as the chosen words, facial expressions or body language, offering a window into the heart and mind of the speaker. Therefore, by paying attention to these aspects of communication, we can gain a deeper understanding of the emotions and mental states of the people we interact with. This not only enhances our empathy and our ability to respond more appropriately, but also enriches our own expression skills, allowing us to communicate with greater authenticity and depth. In every conversation, as we give voice to our words, we are also giving voice to our emotions, creating a symphony of human communication that resonates with the true essence of what it means to be human. Waving and subtext. The gesture of waving, although it may seem like a simple and straightforward action, is laden with meanings and nuances that can reveal much about the nature of an interaction and the dynamics between those involved. This act can range from a subtle nod of the head, an affirmative hand gesture, to a more elaborate movement involving the entire body. Each of these variations carries a subtext, offering insights into respect, anxiety, agreement, or the expression of power and authority in relationships. For example, a nod of the head is often interpreted as a sign of agreement or approval. In many cultures, it is a non-verbal way of saying yes, or showing that one is following what the other person is saying, indicating respect and attention. This gesture can strengthen the connection between interlocutors, creating an atmosphere of mutual understanding and cooperation. 
On the other hand, a wave can also be an indicator of anxiety or impatience. Depending on the context and how it is performed, it may suggest an attempt to hasten the conversation or subtly indicate disagreement. The dynamics of the wave in this case reveal an emotional complexity that may be at play, showing that communication goes far beyond verbal content. Moreover, the act of waving can reflect power dynamics within a relationship. A firm and controlled wave, especially when accompanied by an authoritative facial expression, can be a manifestation of dominance or control. In contrast, a more hesitant or submissive wave may indicate a position of lesser power or an attempt to appease. These nuances offer valuable clues about the state of the relationship and the relative positions of those involved. It is interesting to note that the interpretation of these gestures can vary significantly between different cultures and social contexts. What is seen as a sign of respect in one place may be interpreted as lack of confidence or even interest in another. Therefore, understanding these subtexts requires not only careful observation, but also knowledge of cultural norms and the particularities of the interaction. Studying waving and its subtextual meanings is a reminder of the richness of human communication and the importance of reading between the lines in social interactions. By becoming more attentive to these details, we can improve our ability to understand others and to make ourselves understood, navigating the complexities of human relationships with greater empathy and effectiveness. This gesture, so common and yet so laden with meaning, is a clear example of how small details can offer great insights into the fabric of human interactions. The clothes we wear, the clothes we choose to wear are much more than simple coverings for the body. They are an extension of our identity, a silent yet eloquent means of expression that communicates to the world who we are, what we believe in, and how we position ourselves in life. This tapestry of fabrics, colors, and styles is a powerful non-verbal language capable of revealing significant aspects of our personality, values, and preferences without a single word being spoken. Each piece of clothing, each chosen accessory, tells a part of the story of who we are. A wardrobe filled with vibrant colors and bold patterns may reflect an outgoing and adventurous personality, while a palette of neutral colors and classic pieces may indicate a more reserved and contemplative approach to life. Similarly, choosing clothes with traditional cuts over fleeting fashion trends may reveal a preference for durability and timeless value a sign of values that transcend the immediacy of consumer culture. In addition to being a mirror of personality, fashion also serves as a vehicle for identity affirmation and belonging. Through clothing, we can signal our affiliation with certain groups, cultures or movements, expressing solidarity and sharing values with chosen communities. Whether adopting the distinctive style of a subculture or incorporating traditional elements of clothing, from our cultural heritage, we use fashion to tell the world where we come from and which communities we feel we belong to. At the same time, the way we dress can be a statement of our approach to life. People who prioritize comfort and functionality in their clothing choices may be expressing a value for practicality and freedom of movement, while those who invest in haute couture pieces or specific brands may be communicating an appreciation for the art of fashion or a social status. However, it is important to remember that like any form of communication, the language of fashion is complex and subject to interpretations. What a piece of clothing means to one person may be perceived entirely differently by another, reflecting the diversity of experiences, perceptions, and cultural values. Therefore, while clothes can be a powerful expression of our identity and values, they are only a part of what defines us. In summary, 
Fashion is a form of non-verbal communication that allows us to express our identity, establish connections, and navigate the world with a sense of belonging and purpose. Through clothing choices, we have the opportunity to tell our own story, celebrate our individuality, and share with the world a unique vision of who we are and how we choose to live. Thus, the clothes we wear become not only a matter of style, but also a reflection of the richness and complexity of the human experience. We've just uncovered the secrets of communication and personality, but the journey into human psychology is only just beginning. Want more surprising revelations? Subscribe, turn on notifications, and dive with us into discoveries that will transform your worldview. Don't stop here. Like, comment, and share, feed your curiosity, and become part of our community that seeks to unravel human mysteries. Your next big revelation awaits you here. See you soon.